Welcome or welcome back at I need help at Cisco. In this example, we need to solve a system of equation, and this is these two equations are non-linear equation, both of them. So this is in fact a system of non-linear equation. And um, I'm gonna use a process that maybe is gonna look different than some other uh, problem. I'm gonna take the second equation x squared plus y squared, and I'm gonna solve for example for y squared, but you can solve for x squared also. So I'm going to subtract x squared on both sides, and I end up with this y squared equal 25 minus x squared. And I want to use the substitution method, so I'm looking here and I ask myself how can I get a y squared there, and it's very simple. I'm going to raise it to the second power both sides, so that equation number one becomes x squared, times y squared equals 12 squared, that will be 144. And the second equation is y squared equals 25 minus x squared. So this is an equivalent system of equation of the original one. And now we can use substitution. We can take this y squared and replace the y squared here. So what we have is going to be x squared times the quantity 25 minus x squared equals 144. And I can use distributive property here. And we have 25 x squared minus x to the 4 power equals 144. And for this polynomial equation, first of all, I need to have an equal 0. And I, and I would like to have a positive leading coefficient so that's the reason i'm going to add x to the 4 power and subtract 25 x squared here and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side of the equation add x to the 4 power and subtract 25 x squared so this allows me to get a zero on the left side and the polynomial equation is x to the 4 power minus 25 x squared plus 144 and now this uh, four degree equation it's fact can be reduced to a second degree by using a substitution I will say x squared equals n which means x to the four power which is x squared raised to the second power that will be m squared so this equation will become m squared minus 25m plus 144 equals 0. And this equation in M, we can use factoring. I'm looking for two numbers whose product is 144 and the sum is negative 25. Those are going to be negative 16 and um, negative nine so basically now we have the uh, factor form we can solve for m and we get for the first one m equals 16 and for the second factor uh, we get m equals nine but don't forget the m is nothing else than x squared so we have x squared equals 16 and that will give us x equals plus or minus square root of 16 and we have two solution here plus and minus 3 but also we have m equals 9 which is going to give us x squared equals 9 or x equals plus or minus square root of 9 which is plus or minus 3 and I apologize square root of 16 is 4 not 3 so now you notice we have four possible axes for this system of equation and I have to find for each one the y so let's take x equals 4 and we have x y equals 12 write the first equation right here 
x y equals 12 so that basically tells us that uh, for y equals 12 which give us y equals 3 so the first solution will be 4 and 3 For x equals negative 4, we can do the same process. And we have negative 4y equals 12, which is going to give us y equal negative 3. So the solution is negative 4 and negative 3. Then we're going to move to, we finish with this axis, we have this axis left and the same process, x equals positive 3, so we're going to have 3y equals 12, so we're going to get y equals 4, so we have 3 and 4 as a solution, and we have one more, the last one, x equals negative 3, which is going to give us negative 3y equals 12, which means y equals negative 4. So we have the last solution, negative 3, negative 4. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 solution for this system of nonlinear inequality. You can take a look to the next slide where we have a graphical approach of these guys and you notice those four solutions right here. 1, 2, three four and yes this is the equation of a circle this is a hyperbola these two uh, geometric curves shape they intersect in this case in four points if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you